Bolivia was rocked by a failed coup that shocked the nation. This crisis unfolded dramatically when police arrested General Juan José Zinga, the coup leader, just hours after soldiers stormed the presidential palace in La Paz. On Murillo Square, with key government buildings, hundreds of troops and armored vehicles took strategic positions. The tension peaked as one vehicle tried to smash the palace entrance. Shortly after, the soldiers withdrew, leaving the country in confusion and fear. General Zuniga, appointed commander of the Bolivian army in 2022, and announced his plan to restructure democracy. While he claimed to respect President Luis Acre for now, he suggested a government change was imminent. His arrest came after he shockingly told reporters that the military intervention was at the president's request, sparking widespread speculation about the coup's real motives. Dramatic footage from inside the presidential palace showed a tense confrontation between Arce and Suniga, with loud banks in the background. Arce, resolute, ordered Zuniga to stand down. Moments later, the general was arrested, marking a pivotal moment. Inside the presidential palace, President Arce condemned the coup attempt, urging citizens to organize and mobilize for democracy, sparking widespread support. In the days following the coup attempt, President Arce made significant changes to the military leadership, announcing new commanders and confirming the dismissal of General Zuniga. This came after Zuniga publicly criticized former President Evo Morales, a move that likely sealed his fate. Morales, from his end, also denounced the coup attempt and the call for criminal charges against Zuniga and his accomplices. The Public Prosecutor's Office quickly opened an investigation, leading to the arrest of Vice Admiral Juan Arnes Salvador, head of the Bolivian Army. If you like where this is going, don't forget to like and subscribe, as I post interesting content daily that you wouldn't want to miss. Let's go! Despite the dramatic events, General Zuniga's true motivations remain a mystery. Just days before the coup, he had voted to arrest Morales if he ran for office again, despite Morales being barred from doing so. Morales, who had been ousted in 2019 amid accusations of election fraud, had since been living in exile in Mexico. From Murillo Square, Zuniga accused an elite of taking over the country, calling them vanos who have destroyed the country. Adding to the confusion, moments before his arrest, Zuniga claimed that President Arce had instructed him to deploy the armored vehicles to boost the president's waning popularity. This assertion was echoed by opposition Senator Andrea Barrientos, who suggested that an economic and judicial crisis might have prompted Arce to stage a self-coup. Bolivia is currently facing severe economic challenges, including a cost of living crisis and a shortage of US dollars. While the coup was quickly suppressed, it exposed vulnerabilities within President Arce's administration. Many are now questioning whether others might try to challenge his government through political means rather than military force. During the coup, Morales called on his supporters, especially in the indigenous coca growth movement, to take to the streets and demand an end to the coup attempt. The show of popular support likely played a crucial role in quelling Zuniga's plans, which also included freeing political prisoners like former leaders Janine Anes. In spite of the political rivalry, both Arce Arce and Morales belong to the same party. The tensions have caused concerns among some Bolivians, including Zuniga, who worry that Morales might seek another term. Morales' attempt to bypass the constitution and run for a fourth term in 2019 led to violent protests, his resignation and eventual exile. Janine Anes, who served as an interim leader from 2019 to 2020, was later sentenced to 10 years in jail over what prosecutors described as a coup against Morales. The swift response from regional allies was a relief for President Arce, left-wing governments in Venezuela and Colombia, as well as the United States, quickly condemned the coup and called for democracy to prevail. Even Paraguay sent a right President Santiago Peña and announced the attempt, underscoring a regional consensus against military interventions in democratic governance. Despite the coup's failure, concerns linger. Human rights activist Janice Vasa Dasa fears President Arce might use to target the opposition, possibly arresting members of the closing or the legislative assembly. Political analyst Carlos Toranzo questioned the coup's authenticity, noting the president unusual calm and uninterrupted communication channels, suggesting it might have been a government orchestrated show. In conclusion, Bolivia's recent coup attempt has left the nation on edge. While a swift suppression of the coup reaffirmed the country's commitment to democracy, it also highlighted the underlying political tensions and economic challenges. As Bolivia navigates this turbulent period, the unity of its leaders and the support of its citizens will be crucial in maintaining stability and preventing future threats to democratic institutions. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.